Growing up on California's central coast, Kayla Diaz longed for a family. My childhood was pretty lonely. My dad got murdered when I was one, and so I always grew up missing him and wanting him and had a pretty hard childhood. As a single parent, her mom struggled to cope. She tried to be there as much as she could, but drugs had a hold on her and alcohol had a hold on her and relationships with men had a hold on her, so she was never really fully there. What I was afraid of as a child is that my mom would get taken from me how my dad did. I was afraid of being alone. Kayla found some security and acceptance with her peers, but they weren't the best influence on her. By sixth grade, she was using marijuana and getting drunk on a regular basis. Drinking and smoking marijuana led to me fighting, led to me not caring about school, ditching school. It led to me having anger towards other people. After one particular fight in eighth grade, she was ordered to anger management counseling. Yeah, I remember telling my counselor that I wanted to have a baby. And, and she asked me why. And I said that because I want to be able to love someone and have them love me and nothing could ever take that away. So I was already in my mind trying to build the family that I always wanted. So at 14, Kayla got pregnant, but it didn't turn out like she planned. She moved in with her boyfriend, who became physically and emotionally abusive toward her and her child. Kayla saw no way out. I tried to leave a few times, and it just wouldn't. He wouldn't let me. He'd tell me it would kill me if I left. He would just put, put so much fear in me, and I feared that I wouldn't be able, even though it was such an unhealthy relationship, I felt like I wouldn't be able to make it if I wasn't in that relationship. Since he was also a meth addict, Kayla hoped she could stop the abuse by using drugs with him. Once I started using them, especially meth, it took everything I had. It took all of my self-respect. I stopped caring about myself completely when I started using meth. That's when I felt that I deserved to get hit. Like I felt like I was doing wrong, so I deserved wrong things to happen to me. The next few years were a chaotic blur of drugs and abuse. By the time she was 23, Kayla and her boyfriend had five children together, but she was too busy trying to get high to take care of them. I didn't care about any kind of family then. I stopped even caring fully about my kids and what they were thinking or feeling. And, and I just turned to, to using drugs and drinking alcohol to fill any kind of void that I felt. Kayla was 25 when the drug use and neglect caught up with her, and she lost custody of all five of her children. I wanted to die, and I, I, hated, I hated who I was. I hated what I had done. I felt like everything that I, I loved was just taken. With her dreams of a family shattered, Kayla left her boyfriend. She still hoped to change, but couldn't break free from drugs. After two years of failing to quit her habit, a friend suggested she try a Christian-based rehab program. It was there she started learning about Jesus. After a couple of months, a visiting pastor came to speak. Kayla finally put it all together. And I don't remember exactly what he was telling us about Jesus that day, or I don't remember even really why I wanted to, but I knew that I wanted to accept him because Jesus was good and he would, he would help me and he was love and so I accepted Jesus into my heart that day. And then that's when I felt loved and felt like I was just accepted and cared about. And that's when I began my journey to really understand what God can do. Kayla continued her treatment at another program where she found healing and freedom through Jesus Christ. It was there that he just cleaned my heart off and put forgiveness in my heart and put love in my heart. Like the first program, I, I accepted Jesus and I fell in love with Jesus. And then the second program, I got delivered, you know, and healed and set free and cleaned off and just became even more in love with Jesus. Kayla has been free from all addictions ever since. She was also awarded visitation rights with her kids 
who had all been adopted into loving homes. When I'm with my kids now, I'm teaching them about God, and I'm just encouraging them with the love that God gave me, and now the time that I get to spend with them, I can truly be the woman of God, the mom of God that he wanted in their lives from the beginning. Today, Kayla's married and says God has truly restored her. He's provided for me every single thing. The husband who came into my life, he's provided. My mom being clean and sober, he's provided. Peace in my heart, he's provided. He provides it all. I no longer am searching or trying to make something happen on my own. I'm just trusting him that he'll give me every single thing that I need. Wow, what an amazing story. You literally see the transformation on Kayla's face. You see the tears come into her eyes as she talks about her past, as she talks about the brokenness, just the trauma that she had experienced, abuse, drug abuse, losing her five children. God can restore and redeem you. It does not matter how broken you are because I'm here to tell you, we are all broken. Jesus died for each one of us. We are all sinful. We all choose our own way. We all try to do things our own way without the Lord. But here's another thing we all have. We all have this God-sized hole in our heart that only He Himself can fill. And as you just saw in Kayla's story, she tried to fill that with lots of different things. She thought having kids of her own would fill that void. She thought drugs, relationships would fill that void. And it wasn't until she was in a rehab facility where she heard the good news of the gospel, which is Jesus loves you. God the Father loves you. He sent his only son to die for you so that you could be in right relationship with him, so that you could be fully restored, delivered from any addiction, healed from any trauma, emotionally, spiritually, whatever it is. So if you're watching this right now and you're in a spot, you feel hopeless, you don't know where to turn, turn to Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith and he loves you. So pray this simple prayer today to just give it all to Jesus. Because once you do, you will be healed. You will be delivered and you will be set free. You will be washed clean from your past. You don't have to be perfect to come to him. He's just asking you to come and he will do the rest as you put your trust and hope in him. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I cry out to you, God. I'm done doing life my way. I turn from my wicked ways and I look to you. Jesus, I believe that you died for me and my sins. And I believe that you rose three days later and that same resurrection power now lives in me. I declare with my mouth and believe in my heart that you are Lord. Wash me clean, make me new. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. If you just prayed that prayer with me, please give us a call. Tell somebody, 1-800-700-7000. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.